next legacy. It's 40 Glock. Ah, shit. <laughs> the man of the motherfucking hour, baby. We were just no. talking about you, bro. Like, hey, hey, hey. 40 Glock right. said, give him a round of applause. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Ladies and gentlemen, the zoo life is in the building. Zoo life nah. is in the building right about now. Forty Glock is here. What's up, bro? Man, what it do, man? Living, chilling, you know, staying active. What's up with you, Forty? <laughs> the nigga nah, in the building. <laughs> I can't call it. <laughs> Lounging. Hey. Wow, okay. Your thing, thing. Hey, first yeah, off, we... appreciate you coming on this smoke, to smoke a lot radio. You know what I'm saying? The house. You know what I'm saying? The yuck built and, and the regime and shit like that. So you know what I'm saying? But uh, you know, I had I had an opportunity to buy your album, The Concrete Jungle, last night. Had a had a you know little you know personal listening party to it and shit. And you know, I'm I'm impressed right. with some of the joints, bro. You know what I'm saying? Off off top, some real good shit. Yeah, you know, shit, I'll get it in, man. I'll just try to stay active and stay creative, you know what I mean? I'll stay in that booth, so, you know, it all come from, you know what I mean, being 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 in cahoots with the right team and the right niggas that know how to make 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 joints, make hits, you know what I mean? Make good songs and shit. Hey, so how was the, how was the response, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, because it dropped last week, so, you know, what, what what's the response you're getting from the streets right now, bro? Oh shit! The, the streets is loving it. You know what I mean? You know, you know. I'm, I'm from the I'm from the streets, so you know when you do something real independent like that, like Concrete Jungle is 100 percent independent. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. when niggas see that, you know, I hit the streets. When nigga, nigga come up to me in in my hood like, "Forty, we on?" And I said, "Why you say that, cuz?" Nigga say. Niggas say, uh, because the bootleg man got our shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you on. If the bootleg yeah. man got the shit, you ain't on. If you, ain't, if you don't have it, you are not on. <laughs> I said, that's what make you on? I was like, I'm glad, man. At least you got something out of it. You know what I mean? Like he felt, you know what I mean? If that touches his heart, that's, you know what I mean? That's what it's about. That's what the whole zoo life movement is about. So, you know, I just look at it like that. So, I mean, the streets is loving it. You know what I mean? I'm loving the album shit. I really like, I like it. You know what I mean? Like, I really, I, I, I bangs it 24. So, you know. You did. All right, well, what about, we got so many questions for your ass, nigga. You done fucked up and called in. We got a thousand <laughs> questions, nigga. <laughs> That's right. But, and this smoke a lot right now, so I think I'm going to shoot first. Fuck that, look. Yeah. Shoot, shoot first, man. Well, handle it. And this is what I want to know, man. And I just got to answer it, but I'm going to see if you're going to give me the same answer. Is, will there ever in chance be for you to y'all to squash the beef between Black Wall Street? With them niggas? <laughs> man, fuck them niggas, man. <laughs> I, I, I'll match them niggas. I'll match them niggas out and tell them niggas never exist. I told y'all. <laughs> yep. Cuz oh, cuz oh, fly told America it don't even look yeah. like it'll be official thing to see. You know what I mean? Yeah, ain't nothing in it for me to squash nothing. What what what's in it for me? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Real talk though, it ain't it ain't it ain't nothing in it for me. You know what I'm saying? There's there's nothing nothing where those weenie ass niggas can do for me. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, Black Wall Street is really only just gang. I mean, he don't he don't put his artists on or nothing. I mean, they they all get shipped twenty four seven. So you know, he he that's just something that he screams. You know what I'm saying? It's not something that he really he really puts his all into. Like like I I have a zoo life movement. And it's a real movement. It's a real street movement. You know what I mean? Right. And, and it's going global. Pretend okay. To, for something he got to where he just screaming it and just got niggas that's a fan at the moment of his, you know what I mean, yelling it. Like, you know what I mean? That's not a real movement. So, you know, ain't, ain't nothing in it for me with them weird ass niggas, man. I don't, I don't fuck with them. I don't get nothing out of, <laughs> out, of, out, of, out, of, out of squash and shit with them niggas. Now, okay, and now my other one, <laughs> before I let Brandon start shooting, is a lot of niggas try to downplay all the shit you do by saying that you're not originally from L.A., you're not a real L.A. nigga. They say real L.A. niggas don't fuck with you because he's not from L.A., he's from 
either down south or Carson or some other city outside of L.A. and they say you're not a real L.A. nigga. So what do you have to say to the people out there like where you from and what you rep and why would niggas say shit like that? I'm going to tell you why. Because them niggas is pussies and they not really in L.A. and they not really from L.A. <laughs> you know what I mean? Real talk. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, I'm in the streets, cuz. Whoever said that, nigga, you track my name and track my G-files for I don't know how long. Like, I do this and I've been doing this. You know what I mean? And for a nigga to say something like that, it only shows he just enlightened the whole world that he's a buster. You know what I mean? That Like, come on, nigga. You don't... You don't uh, anybody ever say something like that, you definitely ain't street, especially about a nigga like me, because your, your big homies will tell you about me. You know what I'm saying? They'll be like, hey, man, they over there telling that boy, like, hey, man, stop playing with that nigga. That's why you ain't hearing nothing. You ain't hearing me talk too much. They over there telling hey, man, stop playing with that nigga, man. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, as far as that go, like, come on, man. Like, I'm all, I'm all through L.A., like, I fuck with the streets of L.A., man. For a nigga to say that, that nigga had to been banging for like a year, probably two years. Like, <laughs> you know any nigga, and any any nigga that if game gave him their name, come on, cuz. He, he ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? He ain't even a factor to speak. You know what I'm saying? He getting, yeah, what's, he getting game attention. What's that nigga name? Minutes? The nigga? Is that, okay. Was that his name? Man, that, that's cut, man. Cut Blogger Stalker. I don't know that. Okay. Name. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Yeah, that was that was you know like like what Cuzzo said like you know that was like one of the questions people threw out there but you know what I'm saying a lot of people was more or less you know they 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 rocking the zoo life movement and shit like that and they was just wondering about the whole you know the little you know the Black Wall Street thing and shit like that so you know you know there's your, your niggas, initial... them dirty niggas man ain't no Black Wall Street niggas with no money them dirty niggas. Now, you know, you say a zoo like nigga, nigga, we don't, we don't claim to be the richest niggas, but nigga, we get ours if we gotta go even take it from them bitch ass niggas. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know what I mean? Like, we hustlers, my nigga. You know what I mean? That's, that's what a, a zoo life nigga is. A hustling ass nigga, a nigga that's in the streets and move and go get here, my nigga. It's not about flossing I'm the richest nigga and da 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 da. Nigga, I'm far from broke, but you know, I don't throw that shit around, boast and brag it. I might say it every occasionally, you know what I mean? Like, nigga, I'm sitting in real luxury right now while I'm talking nah, about it. No you said it you said it the other day in your interview, you say them niggas pulled up in their raggedy ass challenger, charger, whatever it was, and I'm sitting in my luxury whip. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? Like, come on, man, these niggas is playing, man. You know what I mean? They can call 40 Glock a dirty nigga. 40 Glock, you can call me a dirty nigga, nigga. Please believe, nigga, these ain't no crystals on my motherfucking wrist. <laughs> hey, you know what? Like, you know, I, I, I'm, you know, we're going we gonna to kind of move from the beef shit in a minute. But, you know, one question yeah. that a lot of people had was like, you know, like, how, how did this whole little little shit with game and, and you kind of like, you know, blow up to, you know, get to the, be the point where it is right now and shit? I mean... I met the bitch ass nigga man when when he was on uh, his come up and he was he was like he just was going to G unit and all that and he called me in jail felony one day and he was like you know he on the phone like come through smoke some of that that quip that quip chronic you know what I'm saying cuz and little little he like talking like that but I, I'm like I could I could see if that was one of my real blood partners, you know what I'm saying? And he right, doing right. that like, nigga, when you do some shit like that and you don't know me, I know you just trying to kiss ass, you know what I'm saying? Because you, you want to get some of this street cred we got and you want to record a record with us, cuz. And, and it's cool. So I'm like, I'm, but I was like, really like, man, this nigga, this nigga, this nigga ain't, nigga, this nigga's a buster. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we go over there anyway, though. We go do it. And when we do the shit, the whole hour of it, you know, I was just like, I wasn't feeling it. I was feeling like, I was feeling like, I was, I, I just felt like, cause the whole nigga present, the nigga essence was just like, bitch made. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, nigga, was like, nigga, I was, yeah, my nigga, like, we <laughs> in here, the nigga, he just so phony, my nigga. You know what I mean? Like, nigga, when you invite a nigga into your crib, nigga, it's hospitality that goes on up in there. He was so scared of us. Cause we was mingling with the real niggas that was around him, and and 
and we could, you know, I used to have a related conversation. You could relate with a, another real one when y'all talking, and a person that's not about that but just playing like he about that, he going he gonna to move away from the conversation. You know what I'm saying? Right. Mm -hmm. he, he know his real niggas right there. No, he's a bitch. And they going to be looking at him like, hey, nigga, you ain't never did that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Like, nigga, you just rap about the shit we do. Stop playing. You know what I'm saying? So it was that type of feeling that was just like, after we did the song, my nigga, I walked out the thing. I walked out the crib. I threw the, I threw the CD in the bushes, cuz. And I was just like, oh, shit. And, and when we got the car, my nigga j -O was like, he was like, Fody, put that, put that shit in. Let me hear that shit. I was like, cuz, that shit in them niggas bushes. Like, nigga, that nigga trash. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So, my, my nigga, I swear to God, my nigga, I ain't never, I ain't never listened to a gang album. My nigga, I couldn't tell you no songs from his album, only the songs, even the first album when he got it, Prodigy had it, and I wouldn't listen to it. He was like, you don't like it? I was like, man, fuck that nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> fuck that nigga, was, man. Fuck the music. Fuck what he rap about. Just fuck that nigga. <laughs> yeah, it was just, it was just like that. You know what I'm saying? Really I got you. So now y'all got it here first on Smoke A Lot Radio. You know we get y'all the real shit, all the exclusive fuck the rumors. You get it right from the nigga mouth. He told you where, how it happened and where it happened. So y'all yeah. can stop all that out here because he a crib and he a blood and all and all. Wasn't none of that. He just told y'all. Yeah. Exactly. Wasn't no crib, no blood thing. You know what I mean? It was just about a real nigga and a bitch ass nigga. <laughs> Straight up. Hey. Hey, okay. Glock, so, so, you know what I'm saying, since you in L.A. real tough, like, you know what I'm saying, is that dude game around L.A. when you, when you, you know what I'm saying, in the hood and shit, or not really? And and, why, and with that same question, is them in GED, are they affiliated, or are they, like, a, together, or they buddies, or they run together with them? What is that connection? GED, let me tell you, GED is some kid shit, I think, you know what I mean, because them chains we had was 100% fake. And, you know, uh -huh. kids, kids wear silver chains and all that shit, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I wouldn't give a fuck if them niggas was together. Ain't no <laughs> enough, you know what I'm saying? Like, if, if game in the streets, I mean, he in the streets a whole nother way. I don't know, he in the street, in the streets in his world. His world is the Alice in Wonderland. You know what I mean? I'm in the streets. So, nah, cuz ain't through L.A. all like that, but... I mean, you know, it's a big city, so, you know, if you can move around, he can fuck around, maneuver around and not get, probably not get noticed, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Just how it is, you know what I'm saying? Or you could be in a cool little suburban neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, but as far as him <laughs> moving around in the streets like that, hell no. Nah. There's too many wheels out there to be on his head, on his helmet, you know what right. I mean? Because for one... Nigga, you act like a banger, nigga, and you ain't about it. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you can't just do that and think you're going to walk the streets safe every day. You know what I'm saying? So, and, and I do it, my nigga, and, and trust and believe. I don't walk around like I, I walk the streets safe every day. I treat it just like I did j the same way I do because I'm still the same way. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, nigga, from day one. Yeah, yeah I'm with mine 24-7. You know what I'm saying? So you got to constantly be on your P's and Q's. That's the life of a real one. You know what I'm saying? It's not nothing to glorify. It's just something to solidify and let people know. Like, because these niggas got the whole game. The industry just full of bullshit now. Right, right. You know what I mean? It's so tiny. Yeah, that's yeah, what I was going to ask you, Glock. Like, right now, it's like, well, we already know, you know what I'm saying, the monopoly in the mainstream is, you know, they got the skinny jeans movement and, you know, the real weak. You know what I'm saying? No, not official music and shit going on and shit. But I mean, are are you? I mean, are you content doing the shit that you're doing? You know what I'm saying? Rocking out your shit independent, or you know, you you kind of like still, you know, trying to go that uh that that big label route. Yeah. What's the G U in the affiliation? How that how that work into it? I mean, well, you know, that plays the major major part. It plays, you know what I mean? Family at the beginning of the day. So. They got a lot. They got a lot to do with my success, Prodigy, uh, Havoc, Fifty, everybody. So you know the whole staff of G on. So it's just like, with that being said, yeah. Um, I mean, you could say my shit. I got the I got the help of a major, but they don't they don't. You know they they they. It's a, it's homies. You know what I'm saying? 
Right. Like it ain't about money with fifty. You know what I'm saying? It ain't. I don't. I don't trip on him about no cheese. He don't trip about me with no cheese. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's a big, it's a big difference. But yeah, definitely zoo life. I definitely wanted to. I'm moving it to a uh, to higher expectations. You know what I'm saying? I just did my label deal. I did it with Fontana Universal, and I, I'm gonna be releasing my um, NWA solo record through there. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Right on. So you know, Concrete Jungle was just. For me to show something for myself, it was me to, like, I want to show motherfuckers, like, nigga, I can do this. Like, the shit these niggas can't do, that they got to go to these majors and they got to do, yo, I can, I, can, I want to show them that I could do the same shit on my own. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, that it's just something that I wanted to do. And plus, you know, I want, I want to bring something in the hood. I'm bringing something toward the ghetto for people to look at. You know what I mean? New faces, new street niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like my little young niggas with the zoo babies. Them niggas is all like 21, 22. You know what I mean? Them niggas same age as Lil Wayne's and Tigers and all them niggas. The menaces, all them niggas. They younger than all them niggas. And them niggas will crush all them niggas, beat them up, and fair ones, all that shit. Like, we ain't... That ain't something, that ain't, that ain't the issue. The issue is, you know what I mean, me and Zoo Life, I mean, Zoo Life is a movement, and it's, and it's, and it's something that I'm trying to really bring forward and, and really put a lot of the real streets on, the real streets with talent. You know what I'm saying? That's hip-hop to me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And be like, cool. you know, colors and shit and running around saying blood and saying crip and, you know what I mean, trying to get a deal and then... Doing a Yule in the club, you know what I mean? Doing a Soldier right. Boy. And so, Soldier Boy, Speaking, my number you know what I'm saying? That's, a, that's the next question because they just said uh, last weekend, I forgot cuz name. I'm not good with names. Who was the band that we had on from Zoo Life that called in? Oh, shit, man. I forgot the homie name. He, he called in. He uh, called in. He said he's from Houston. Uh, oh, you just from Texas. Son. Son. Uh, yeah. 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 He called in. He said one of y'all, uh, one of the Zoo Life members just got signed to SOB Money Gang. He said what? Yeah. He said one of y'all, <clears throat> y'all got one of, <clears throat> excuse me, one of the one of the members from Zoo Life now SOD Money Gang. Is that what he said? Yeah, yeah I mean, he, said that, that, he, he got, probably he probably like said it. you know he, he you know he got ties with him. He fucking with him. You know what I mean? Like, he said y'all got it. He said y'all he good. He like Soldier Boy good now. That he running with y'all. He got a pass. That's what he said. Well, uh, yeah, you know, Soldier Boy's a little loved one, cuz. I mean, you know, that's 50 little nigga, that's my little nigga. He, he good. Cuz ain't, he ain't, he ain't, he ain't out with that bullshit. You know what I mean? He just doing him, and, you know what I'm saying? It's, I, see, I can respect that, cuz what I tell niggas is that it's not about, it's not about who's the hardest. You gotta be a gang member. You gotta be this to be a real motherfucker. He's a real little nigga. The little nigga, he just, nigga, if he dance, he dancing, my nigga. But you, you know what I mean? If he start doing that gang banging shit, nigga get on his helmet. Like, hey, can I cut that shit out? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because yeah. that ain't you. You know what I'm saying? Because if you see what they don't realize is that what 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 they doing is like you you playing with situations of real niggas that really take offense to that shit. Like like I'm a real one. I had to really go through it. So I done been busted on. I done been shot. I done been shot at. Did the shooting and been but you know what I mean. Then in the, in, the, in the big brawls and the fights and the, the the shit just for having on the wrong color and wrong hat and getting jacked and getting your clothes snatched off you and burnt up and shit like that. You know what I mean. So when you when you when you when you when you see a motherfucker that's fake with and you see these bitch ass niggas doing that and they trying to act like they, they did this and did that. And they never put in no work. Yo, you take a real offense to it. It's like, it, it, it's a real fire in you that, that it, you get around these niggas. That's why I be tripping. But see, they I don't understand it. that. They don't understand that. They just think like, oh, he on the strip shit. Or nah, man, it's just with bitch niggas. Bitch niggas piss me off. Niggas screaming. Niggas screaming Sue Whoop and, and crazy shit. And, and nigga ain't never even. Exactly. Even, yeah, I did what you saying. I, none I, of that business, man. Don't know what it feel like to be in a real drive-by over a color. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Real you know, shit. A, a lot of niggas know what it feel like to be in a drive by by being around a nigga that's from that represent a color and really being in this shit. They don't know about getting out there and doing this shit and know what it feel like to lose a loved one over this shit. And you know what I'm saying? You having pride in this shit and really taking it to heart. You know what I'm saying? Right. right. True. True. I can dig it. I can dig it because niggas be ah oh, that nigga just want hating on all the rappers. Oh, he tripping when they come to L.A. Oh, that nigga just hating. He tripping that nigga mad because he. And now, there again, once again, on Smoking Light Radio, you get the truth. You know what I'm saying? That nigga, that nigga, 
and nothing but the truth. You know what I'm saying? Hey, let me go ahead and crack open a couple of phone lines. You know what I'm saying? Got to get my man Chop Black up in here. You know what I'm saying? Chop Bleezy, welcome to Smoke a Lot right. Radio. Welcome home. Hey. Man, Glock. Hey. What up, Glock. Okay. <laughs> What's up with my cousin, though, man? <laughs> man, living it, man. What's up with my guy, man? Man, you know, man, nigga running around, man, running the streets. Oh, yeah, you and know, I, I see you all the time, man. You know, I know how you get out, man. You, you know what I'm saying? Birds of a feather, man. You feel me? We fly, man. Yeah, What's up, man? <laughs> yeah, man. What's up, cuz? Oh, fly, man. What's up? What's up, Brandon, man? What's, what's, what's cracking, man? It's just us on here, man, rocking the night. Man, we rocking the night, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the boss, man, Yuck. I know he probably on the... On the Kush Nap or Kush Nap. Yeah. Thing, whatever, you know what I mean? Shout out to the boss, man. You know what I'm saying? But we shit, you know, we getting the real shit from Fody Glock, letting it be known. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Hearing out his, Just hearing out his feelings about the, you know, the, the, the little black Wall Street thing. And, you know, hey, and like I said, people need to go get that, you know, Concrete Jungle is out. On his, his, you know, in the little things, online, Amazon. I copped it on Amazon last night. You need to go get it. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely That's official. Right. You know what I'm saying? Respect the, hey. respect the man's respect the man's movement. Respect Zoo Life movement. You know what I mean? Keeping it one hundred. Hey. It's one west, man. It, man, we we gonna let them know, man. We gonna wake the game up, man. In real life, man. You feel me? You gonna you gonna hear Forty Glock on that new Toi takeoff instantly. Chop Black hey, Street right. out. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm gonna email him the motherfucking bump when we get off this motherfucking radio. You dig? You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be. It's going to be so official, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Take your calls right now. So y'all want to holler at 40, man. Call here right now. 317-215-8653. Let me put on, uh, you know what I'm saying, the, uh, you know, B Gangster 74. You on the mic right now. Smoke a lot radio with ah. Brad, Cuz O Fly, Chop Black, and the homie 40 Glock in the house. What's up with it? What's with it? You do that. Where you at? Yeah, okay. Oh, man. In the background. I don't know who kids is at, but I don't know if you want to call in, man. man the, call in. They call a lot of radio, man. You got babies calling in, man. <laughs> <laughs> man, hey, so, hey, hey, what? Hey, 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 Glock! With the, you know, with the finishing up of the of the concrete jungle thing, what else you got in store for the for the masses in Twenty Dime, bro? Man, I mean, like, you know, uh, it's 2010. I'm trying to take it there. I got, you know, the NWA project. I'm pushing my solo, and then we got like Gail Gotti and uh, Son, Village Boo, Lil Boo, the Zoo Babies, Rocky Do, Braze Mac. I mean, we going hard, Jack. We going we going super hard, man. It's like I'm, I'm setting the foundation. You know what I'm saying? I'm showing everybody what type of what type of business man a nigga is. You understand what I'm saying? That's right. So you know I'm taking it there. I mean the NWA record that motherfucker coming out hard though. I just did a new record with Genuine for it. We got like Rona Bennett from me and Vogue. Shit with like OJ, OJ Juice man coming in there. Everybody. I mean it's it's a dope record. I just gotta. I want to sequence it all together and make it right. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, hold on, nigga. I don't want too many features on my shit. What you eating, nigga? Hold on. Sound like you on some black snacks. Yeah, man. I'm on some in and out. Yeah. <laughs> nigga, <I> think, <laughs> nigga sound like you was on some, some track snacks, man. In and out is part right. of track snacks, man. <laughs> Real talk. Hell yeah. But you know, grinding it out like that, man. I'm just going... Hard in the paint, like all year, they finna see a slew of videos, a slew of, I uh, hear a slew of music, and they finna see, they finna, they, they gonna get to know every individual zoo life, zoo life individual persona, each, individually, you know what I'm saying? That's what we're taking, I'm just branding right now. That's what's up. I, you know, and, and like I tell my, I tell my fuckers, when you got a movement, my nigga, it's not about record sales. Like, see, I'm niggas don't know. I'm not tripping off of record sales. 
I don't give a fuck about selling platinum. I don't give a fuck about selling gold. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. What I give a fuck about is branding the Zulite movement, and that's my intention, and that's what I'm going to do. You know what I mean? All that shit will come with it. I'm not worried about all that. You know what I mean? I gather me 10 motherfuckers. I will give, go get 10 more right after that. Man. That 10 going to get another 10. The other 10 going to get another 10. And that's how we going to make it happen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I feel that. I feel that. <laughs> Take some more calls. Yeah, let me go ahead and grab this one from uh, a caller by the name of Baby G that want to say something to 40. Oh. Say something to hey, what's going on, Glock? What is it, man? What's going on? First of all, you don't want to say I respect the real G that's in it. You know what I mean? That's right, love boy. Okay, yeah, but uh, you know, how do you feel about uh, these guys that's in the industry right now that's using gang banging to leverage their careers, you know, as far as... Uh, like Little Wayne and you know them. Other I mean, I mean, you see what I feel about them. Yeah, put yeah, it, I, 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 put it, I put it to the public eye. <laughs> yeah, I wanted, I wanted to shake your hand when I saw that. Man, hey, my man. nigga, you got you on your speakerphone? Are you taking on speakerphone? Or can you turn your radio down in the background? You can wish one because we getting hella feedback. All right. All right, yeah, but, hey. Yeah. You know, we, you know what I mean? He's from San Diego, you know what I mean? You say what? So I'm from San Diego, so I know our city's smaller, and we know more, you know what I mean, when the real ones that come out, you know? Yeah, real talk. That's right. No, 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 San Diego. Okay, all the time. You don't got left for L.A. That's what it is, man. I'm from Aido. <laughs> are, are you from Are you from IE? Yeah, I'm from IE. Oh, that's what's up. Like, you gotta be on the yard with some IE, this black rag and shit. That's right, man. Hell yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you that, man. All day. All right, for sure, man. Good looking out. You sure to go count that, go count that out, man. Go count that 40 Glock, the zoo life. Concrete yeah, man, tell all saying. your niggas, tell all, and, and everybody tell a friend in the penitentiary. It'd be, it'd, it'd be behind them walls in a minute. It, it, I think it, it'll hit the walls probably next week or some shit. Oh, that's what's up. Hey, Glock, you yeah. got a few more minutes to hang out with us while we bang out hell on earth real quick, bro? Yeah, yeah. Man, we got to yeah. take a couple more calls, man. After, the, after you bang that out, we need some more calls because they was waiting on him to call in, so I know people yeah. going to be calling back. Yeah, we had the fan base, man. They was jumping all on the lines waiting for this man to call in. So they like, ooh-wee, 40 Glock yeah, in the man. building right now. Smoke a lot radio in the house, you know what I'm saying, Brandon in the building. Next Legacy.